So here are our two lamps, and to work out the total resistance, R is going to be equal to V divided by I. So this value divided by that value. So when we had the first lamp, we've got 5.73 divided by 0 0.09, which gives a value equal to 63.7 ohms. And for the other one, we had a value of 5.71 divided by 0 0.09, which was 63 Okay, so we can see that both of these were pretty much identical lamps, so about 63 or 64 ohms as their resistance. Now all I did to get these values was I just paused the video and these are the values that I used, so yours might be slightly different, but hopefully a similar type of resistance. Now when we add, had them in series, the re combined resistance was 5.77 volts divided by 0 0.06, which is equal to 96.2. So in series, their combined resistance increased. When they're in parallel, we've got a value of 5.48 divided by 0 0.18, and this gave a value of about 30.4. So um, just over 60 individually, but combined in parallel, their total combined resistance decreased. And that's because there's more pathways for the current to flow through that circuit. So um, that is just a little bit about lamps in series and parallel. But there's one final thing that some of you might be thinking about. Why is it that if that's 60 and that's 60, why doesn't it add up to 120 when these are connected in series? Now the reason for that is that this is only the value of their resistance at these particular values. The resistance can change depending on the current. In actual fact, when we have a bigger current, we're going to have a greater heating effect and therefore a greater resistance. But when these were connected in series, that caused there to be a lower current, and at a lower current, their individual resistances are actually going to be lower. Okay, So rather than it being 60 add 60, it was more like maybe something like 45 to 50 ohms added to 45 to 50 ohms to make 96 ohms in total. We can see that when we had them in parallel though, both of these drew about the same type of current because again, current splits. So we might have 0 0.18 amps from the cell or from the battery, and then we still have 0 0.09 going through each lamp. So when these were connected in parallel, they still had 0 0.09 of an amp going through them, and that meant their individual resistances were still about 60 ohms at this time, which is why it then halved when we had two of them in parallel. Hopefully that makes sense. So with lamps, because of the way that when they're connected in series, they draw less current, that means their individual resistances are less than when we've just got them connected on their own, and that's why this value here isn't just double this value here. Hopefully that makes sense.